Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and this video is going to give you guys a brief primer on the brush presets from the SR Lounge Lightroom 4 preset system. Now, in the last tutorial, we covered the develop presets, and in the prior tutorial, you guys installed everything, so this should be working fine. Right now, we're going to jump into our uh, brush presets by hitting K. Um, you can also go into the graduate filter, it'll show you the same menu, it's the same for both. Each one of these tools is just going to operate differently, which hopefully you guys know about already. If not, check out our Lightroom 4 DVD and that will assist you in that area. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this pull down and this is exactly what you guys should see with the Lightroom 4 uh, preset system installed. Now what we've done is we've organized these brush presets and graduate filter presets based on frequency of use. So basically we find that we're most often using our graduate brushes and filters and our graduate filters and brushes, sorry, to dodge and burn or to brighten and darken certain areas. Next we're using it to enhance details. After that we're using it for retouching and then for color and temperature modifications and then finally we're using it for special effects. So it's kind of we've ordered we put everything in. So let's discuss each one of these settings and then we're going to go through and actually retouch this image. All right, so let's start from the top with dodging and burning. And the first thing we have is burn blacken. And what that is, is basically whenever you want to burn down an area so dark that it becomes completely black, you use this setting. It's going to pull it all the way down. Next we have burn darken, which is just going to pull something down one stop. And the reason why we only have one of these settings is because typically with burning, what we're doing is we're applying the burn effect and then we're making an adjustment to it afterwards to get it to where we want. So we just set a negative one and positive one for the the standard burn and dodge settings, and then negative four and plus four for the burn to complete black or the dodge to complete white, which does the exact opposite of the burn to black. This actually will take an area and take it to pure white. All right, next we have our detail enhancers. And with our detail enhancers, we basically design different detail enhancers for every possible area. So the general all-purpose detail enhancer is one that's designed to be not too powerful, not too extreme. Uh, you can kind of use it everywhere except for skin tones. You know, with any of the detail enhancers, you really want to avoid skin tones. But this is designed kind of for all-purpose use. Then we have a detail enhancer specifically designed for sky, cloud, and ocean, for nature and color, like enhancing flowers and greens and, and stuff like that. Uh, we have one for clothing and texture, and then for hair and eyelashes. From here we have retouching presets, and most of these are pretty self-explanatory. We can soften skin, diminish lines, brighten eyes, etc. Going down here we see catch light enhancers, which we've created to basically boost catch lights, and then the 28 and 29, the window softbox catch light and the reflector catch light are actually designed so you guys can create catch lights where you don't have strong ones visible. And we'll have specific tutorials on all of these, so don't worry. From here we have color and temperature modifications where we can basically desaturate certain areas of the image. This is going to be a full desaturation where it's going to take it to black and white. Then we have just a regular desaturation where it kind of partially takes down the saturation. We have a saturation boost. We have a cooling setting and we also have a warming setting. And these are really cool for special effects and coloring and stuff like that which we'll show you guys tutorials on as well later on. And finally we have our special effects. We have Dreamy Declarify which kind of creates that nice dreamy, hazy looking images. We have the de-sharpening for toy effects and lens baby effects and heavy de-sharpening when you want to really create like kind of those cool tilt shift looks. Alright guys, so because this tutorial is already quite long, let's actually stop here and let's go to the next tutorial where we're going to show you guys actually how to retouch this image using these different brushes.